new around these parts partner hey subscribe will you hey guys what's up guess what we're starting a new plugin build series that's right uh we're still going to do some more on the youtube one but i was kind of getting to the end of that one and i think there's not going to be a ton left in that series to touch on i mean really it was just meant to be basics on how to do a plugin and the last videos in the series are kind of getting even more complicated than i wanted them to like the last one i released where it was um building a next or uh, more videos and all that it was kind of like a lot of information packed into such a short video and i was hoping it didn't confuse people or they felt like it was too fast because it kind of was and i was trying to do it for my desktop my laptop or whatever anyway this is a new plugin series we're going to be building and this is a full from front to back um, on a plugin that doesn't exist and this isn't like a let's build on something i've already built this is actually a plugin i wanted to develop for a while it's going to be pretty simple and then you guys can actually watch me develop it uh test it and then actually submit it to the wordpress.org for um, actually to be downloadable through, you know, regular WordPress dashboard and all that. So we're going to actually just like do the journey together. And like I said, this isn't like I've already built something and I'm just like, hey guys, let's do this. Let's build and all that. That's not the case. I'm actually have not even built any code towards this yet. Uh, it's just an idea I had that I actually wanted to build for a while. So here's what it is. I'm calling it the tag mixer. There might be something like this already in existence. I don't know. I didn't even really check. I'm just going to build it the way I want it. And uh, you'll find I do that a lot. I really don't even care what exists already because uh, I'm not charging for it or anything. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, I would if I was going to charge for it or something, you know, if somebody already made something and I'm like basically it's a rip off or something. But in this case, we're going to build a plugin called the tag mixer. And here's what the idea was. A tag mixer allows users to select certain tags by their IDs and then gives them the option to change anything they want about that item based on getter post variables passed to the page. This is actually a very big thing for internet marketing. I'm very into internet marketing. I have been for a long time. I did it pretty much full time for a few years. That's all I, the only way I actually made money. And, uh, you know, running paid traffic and all that. And something that I wanted to do in, a lot was be able to change items on a page based on a keyword incoming or something like that. So like say that you're advertising for like um, uh, like home builders or like you know like a Home Depot or something. If the keyword came into your site was Home Depot, your advertising page, you'd want everything in your page to reflect Home Depot. Color schemes, uh, logos where possible, uh, verbiage, things could change based on a get variable coming in. It could be one page that makes changes or maybe it's the same verbiage but you want color schemes to change, more congruency based on a keyword and that's what this plugin is going to do. It can change images and all that based on um, an items div. You can add as many as you want and then you can change items based on an incoming query, get or post. So. Here's the base features. Uh, it's internet marketing, works great because it can make we can change marketing materials real time without having to make new pages. Includes headlines, background images, everything based on keywords. Unlimited options and ID checks on every page, meaning that we can um, add unlimited ID changes so that you can change images at, at will, colors at will, backgrounds at will, everything using a combo of PHP and jQuery working together. Uh, PHP read only. Um, meaning that it's going to show less code to the end user, which is really important for spying. Think about it, if you just dumped out like pages of JavaScript trying to detect what's coming in and then do it, the user could actually backtrack and look at all your images you're changing and all that. I've actually done that before, big mistake. So this is going to be done with PHP and then it's going to transition it into the jQuery. You'll see, it's going to be very clean. Then we're going to be able to save these as um, package sets. That's what I'm calling it so that a user can say, this is the Home Depot package set or this is the Geico package set or this is the whatever you determine as your package set and um, it'll change all your site based on that package. Okay, admin pages. Uh, the basic admin page setting is going to be turning on and off the mixer, generating a source key. Now this is a really good feature I thought of, um, meaning like say that's coming from a specific source. Say you don't want all the time if, the home, if it equals like Home Depot or your keyword or something, you don't want the, to change for that. You only want it to do it from a specific source of traffic. You can generate a key and then your um, mixer plugin can determine, okay, it has both the key and the keyword, the generated key and the keyword. So now we want the page to change and do its thing. Okay, for anybody who's internet marketing who understands this, it's really good feature. And so uh, you can like turn it on and off at will based on traffic source. So that's good. And then just information about the plugin YouTube channel. That's what we're going to put on the settings page. The mixer package settings is going to select existing or allow you to do new packages and then add items to the mixer and package and commit the changes to the database. Okay, public pages. There are no public pages for this plugin. Short codes, no short codes. As we're going to hook into the WordPress footer, JS should fire after all the items on the page are loaded. This way, when we're changing things with um, ID switches and jQuery, every item has been loaded. You want it in the footer, not the header. 
so that's important. And then we're going to submit it to WordPress.org. I'm going to uh, prepare it for the plugin directory, determine if we want to check for updates automatically, actually submit the plugin real time, and then show you guys the follow-up from WordPress.org once it's accepted or whatever they ask me, whatever questions they pose or whatever I have to go through to get it listed to WordPress.org. So like I said, this is just a quick introduction of a, a new plugin we're going to build called Tag Mixer. Once again, this is not a pre-built plugin. It's not like I have this built on another computer and I'm just like coming over and saying, hey, here I, here's some new code or whatever. I'm actually going to be building this like kind of real time. And so uh, I'm not really sure where the series is going to go or what it's going to happen. It's just kind of be a crazy, we're going to do this and we're going to do this and we're going to do this. And then in the end, we're going to actually submit it and get it submitted to the wordpress.org directory. And then also I will make a GitHub for it too as I develop it so other people can check it out and work on it. it shouldn't be too hard to build. I think it's just gonna use custom posts for handling most of its tag features. We're just gonna give it like an identifier of a package and then um, some code for what it does. And so the user can, and then when the user wants to select the package, they can select it from a list and it shows them all those posts and they can edit or delete them or whatever. So um, anyway, that's it. We're going to be creating a new internet marketing plugin called the Tag Mixer. And uh, like I said, if something like this already exists, well, so be it. I really don't care. Uh, I'm going to do it for two reasons. One, because I've always wanted to build it. And secondarily, because I think it would provide value to people who want to learn how to build plugins or people who want to follow along like a real plugin development that's happening real time. So... Anyway, hey, I look forward to this course. It's going to be quite a few videos as well. And then I also have another plugin building course around the corner too. Um, an idea I got from a subscriber. It's not really that I got it from him. It's that um, I, I was already going to build something using text messaging as a feature for plugins. And I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to take it. And he commented saying that him and his buddy were trying to build something for a restaurant, like a reservation type system. And so I think I'm going to do that. Um, so that video series is pretty much for that subscriber, even though I think a lot more people will find value out of that too. It's going to be like something where you can... Um, reserve a table for a time and then it will SMS text you reminders and you can cancel via text and include a bunch of API stuff and all that and that's a much more complicated plugin but I'm um, fairly confident I can build that easy enough that somebody could follow too so but hey for this one I'm looking forward to building this little internet marketing plugin and then having people download it and um, maybe even help um, add features to it or whatever I don't know so because I'm just gonna add it for free so anyway hey if you guys are looking forward to it subscribe will you and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one where we actually start off with the boilerplate and get going on this thing.